Welcome to ETN Community Spotlight, where we shine the light on a local nonprofit organization. I'm Derek Silas. Join me as we talk to today's special guest. So Brenda, tell me about the history, mission, and purpose of Consumer Credit Counseling Service. Well, Consumer Credit Counseling Service is a is a nonprofit United Way agency. We're the old, oldest one in Oklahoma. We've been in business since 1967, and we help people to uh, get out of debt with free financial counseling. So we do it by appointment, and uh, they can come in and uh, do face to face, or we can do it by phone, or we have our website where they can go on and do it by uh, you know online and do the worksheets online. And so it's um, it's a nonprofit, true nonprofit. United Way agency, and, and it's nice to have someone that offers free financial counseling, whether it be to do a budget um, or a debt management plan, which is what we're most known for, or to if they're behind on their house payment, or if they're wanting looking to buy a home in, in the near future and want to clean up the credit report, or you know if they just want to talk about finances in general and just see what we offer, then they can come in and talk to us. Okay, so uh, what is your role in the organization? I am the branch manager here in Enid, and um, so I'm a certified credit counselor. We are all certified um, through the National Foundation for Consumer Credit. Okay. Now, I know you offer, as you stated, a four-time counseling services for debt management, housing, bankruptcy, credit, and you can do it in person, online, and tele via the telephone. Wow. Give me a brief overview of all of those services, how that all works. Okay, I'll, I'll just start with uh, some budgeting. If somebody wants to come in and say, you know, I've always wanted to live on a budget. I know that people that know, you know, have money have learned to live on a budget. And so I'll just make an appointment and we'll just go through and I'll have them bring their, you know, net and gross income for the month. I'll have them have an idea of what their living expenses are. And then we'll just input all that. We have a pretty detailed budget. You know, it's going to talk about their mortgage or their rent, their insurance, their car payment, their utility bills. You know, it's amazing what we spend for our technology, for our, our cell phone bill alone. And then um, we'll do groceries and gas and gifts, how much they spend a year on gifts, how much they spend for car maintenance, you know, the tag and the utility bill, or the tag and the um, uh, oil changes, get that out there, and uh, just house payment, if they have a house payment, then they're going to have house repairs. So we'll try to figure 1% on a newer home, 2% on an older home. And so it, it's a pretty detailed budget. And uh, that usually shocks people at how much it costs just to live. And then uh, if we're most known for our debt management plan, and that's where uh, the credit card companies will um, lower the interest and stop the late fees. And so it's a way that they can um, get out of debt in a timely manner, then the average person uh, gets out of debt in 48 to 60 months. And so that's our, that's our goal. If they get an income tax return and can send in extra, then that's great. They can pay out quicker than that. But because you know some of the credit cards are at 21% or higher, if we can get it at 6 to 9.9, uh, then that's going to help them you know, to pay out. Their payment stays the same, and what we do as soon as one thing pays off, we roll it over evenly. And so that's how we can get them out of debt in that amount of time. Uh, some people get in trouble not only with credit cards, with uh, like the small loan companies, uh, signature loans, or what we call payday loan companies, where they actually write a check for $500 and they charge them $65, and you know, and then they have to pay that back in their payday. Well, they get to payday and they don't have the money, so they get in that catch-22 where they're paying $65 to renew that thing, and nothing's going toward going toward principal, and so. Um, you know, we can usually uh, get a four month payout or five months, sometimes eight months, you know, to get it paid off in a shorter amount of time. And uh, that's a benefit to, to customers to, if they get in trouble with those little loan companies. And some people are just coming in to clean up the credit. You know, they want to buy a house, you know, in, in a year or two years, and we kind of try to develop a plan where they can accomplish that. And sometimes that's just pulling a credit report, seeing what's on it. They may have been told by a lender, well, your score is, is too low to qualify you. And for FHA, they usually want a score of at least 640. And then the conventional mortgage company would want, lender would want probably 680 or higher. And so we have the ability to pull a merge three-file scored credit report and kind of see 
what their three scores are with Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. If it's, um, they don't really take the highest score or the lowest score, they take the middle score. So they might have a 600, a 620, and a 640 where they're going to take that 620 score. And so that, you know, we also do foreclosure prevention. So if they're, um, if they're already behind or if they're seeing that they will be behind struggling to make that house payment, then we can look at, um, you know, if there's a modification that might be available for them. And, you know, we look at all the loss mitigation options to see, you know, sometimes it's just a payment plan that they need, a payment and a half or a payment and a fourth. Sometimes they do need to get it modified if they're at, you know, a high interest rate or, um, you know, high payment and their income's lost uh, or less than it used to be because of loss of job. There might be something that might be available to them. There's a federal program called the Home Affordable Modification Program, which we call HAMP. And then there's a HARP, which is a Home Affordable Refinance Program. Those are the two federal programs that are available. We usually go through a checklist that we've been provided from from Fannie Mae, or from HUD. And so we'll look at that to see if that might be something they might qualify first. And if they don't qualify for that, then sometimes there's an in-house modification program that some of the mortgage companies will offer. And, and so it's a, a way to save their home many times. Okay. Um, now, what puts the nonprofit, what's the difference in the nonprofit uh, type services like this or for profit? What's the difference in that? Well, a lot of the for profits that we have seen, I think the government's cracked down on a lot of them, but a lot of them are settlement companies and they'll basically say, quit paying your, your payments and we'll, you know, save your money and then we'll settle with them. The problem with those type uh, companies is that in order for any kind of credit card to settle the debt, it has to be charged off. So it's got to be 180 days delinquent, so it destroys, destroys the credit, completely destroys the credit. And then what happens many times when they come to see me, they say, I'm getting ready to get sued because I'm with this company and they haven't you know, communicated with my creditors that I'm doing this, and even if they did communicate, they wouldn't accept that until it was charged off, then they would offer them a settlement. But so many times they end up getting a judgment against them and their wages garnished before that ever, they are ever, ever able to settle. And so that's, you know, nobody, most people are wanting to s save their credit. So if I can do a debt management program as opposed to a settlement, you know, then that's going to be good. By the time that most people finish the debt management program, they are, um, their score has actually gone up because number one, the pay history stayed good. Number two, they were over 50% of their credit limit. So once we paid them down below that 50%, then you know their scores were higher. You know, I had a teacher finish not too long ago. She was just thrilled because her scores were 780, 793, and 800. And so, you know, not that she wanted to get in credit card debt again. She said, "I'm done." <laughs> but it was, you know, it was neat to know that her credit scores were high. If she did need to go buy a, a, another car after she retired, because she was looking at retirement. And a lot of people will come to us and say, Brenda, I want to retire in five years. Help me get out of debt. Do you have a plan that will help us to get out of debt where we can retire without all this credit card debt? Okay. I think that is really great. Now, I was looking at the website. It was saying that in 2015, um, there were 13,625 Oklahomans that asked us to help line, and 2,573 that you guys have helped for financial literacy, 193 debt management um, you help people with a debt management plan. And there were 80 families that you helped to prevent home foreclosure. 1,166 Oklahomans uh, you helped with bankruptcy and counseling education. How do you feel that the credit counseling services has impacted the any community, the organization? Well, we are blessed to have a local company, somewhere they can come and see someone face to face. A lot of, a lot of the people don't feel comfortable just telling anybody their social security number over the phone. And so we, we have a local office where they can come in, they can sit across my desk and they say, Brenda, here's my situation. And then I can develop a plan, whether it be, you know, a budgeting, living on a budget, learning to live on a budget, or whether they truly need a debt management program, or if they're in this huge deficit and they may need, um, you know, they may, may need legal counsel. At least they've checked out all their options before they, you know, had to file bankruptcy or had to lose their home because of, uh, you know, their financial situation. 
So whether it be you know loss of job or lots of I have people in that have lots of medical bills, and so um, you know sometimes the medical one bills you know companies want it paid off in six months, and they're just going I've got. 15 different ones, you know, can you help me with a plan to get them all something so that they don't go to collections or they don't, you know, get a judgment against me. And so we're able to, to help them. And they can trust we're, a, you know, a, a, a true nonprofit. And so that's nice to have a company still available in Enid, Oklahoma that offers that free counseling and non-judgmental um, person that can look at them and help them. With uh, with their with their problems, financial problems. Now, do you does the organization does any education for s local schools or any schools or like for corporations if they want to talk to their employees? We have gone in and uh, done little um, you know hour talks or something to employees. Uh, we've been called in if a company were closing you know the doors or something, and we can kind of tell them what our company offers. Uh, we've gone to schools, um, whether they were having a, a, a little seminar of teaching kids how to handle money. I've been out to NOC and talked to some of the kids that are on special programs out there um, looking to you know, help them with their college costs and stuff and, and explain kind of credit and how, how revolving credit works. Most uh, kids um, do not understand revolving credit. You ask them what they want to buy you know, for a thousand dollars and they'll come up with all kinds of ideas, a stereo system or something and when you ask them how much their payment would be and it's ten dollars and what their balance would be after that and they truly think, you know, they don't realize that half of that is going to go toward interest and it's going to take them probably five years to pay off that a thousand dollars and so that's a, kind of a neat thing to go in and talk to kids about it and let them, you know, let them see what revolving credit and, and the risk that you take when you borrow money that you have to pay it back and sometimes with interest which hurts. Okay. So where is the, where are you guys located in Enid? We're at 317 West Cherokee Suite A and it's right across the street from Messer Bowers Insurance Building and a block east of the YMCA which is also a United Way agency. Okay. Well, I appreciate all the information, very good information You're today welcome. and Thank nice. you for joining me. Thank you.